Alright, welcome. This video I'll be showing you how to obtain the Horseman 9 Challenge. And for that, we'll be taking this lovely stagecoach to the thriving metropolis that is Van Horn. And from here, our goal is to haul ass to Blackwater without getting wet in under 17 minutes. You're probably wondering where to get a fast horse to complete this challenge with. This is the stable in San Denis. You can get here pretty early on in the game, and they sell three different horses, one of which is an Arabian that's solid black, and you can see it has pretty good base stats right there. I think the speed, acceleration are both six. And another place to get a fast horse, spoilers, this is uh, what Blackwater has to offer late in the game. At the Blackwater stable, you can get the fastest horse in the game, which is the Missouri Trotter. It's got a base speed stat of 7, and the acceleration stat is lower than the Arabians, but you can sit at the highest speed for longer. And this is where I also got my beautiful rose gray Arabian, which I think its stats are 6 all the way across the board. Another thing you want to look into is saddles. Um, saddles improve the rate at which stamina and health decrease. The game actually with its most recent patch made the special saddles you can make with the trapper actually do better than the ones you can buy which is kind of nice. Finally also included the special horse stimulant. You can make that using sage, bulrush, and wild carrots. Um, that what that will do is will fill your horse's stamina and keep it golden for a very long time. Another thing that I show making is the horse ointment, which is sage, bulrush, and yarrow. And what that does is protects your horse's stamina core. And that's pretty much all the things you need to consider before you go on your ride. So here I am, lathering up my beautiful rose gray Arabian with that horse ointment and then I'm gonna give her some yummy delicious horse stimulant and soon we're off to the races now the most difficult thing about this challenge is that there are several bodies of water you're gonna need to cross I've outlined the path here so from Van Horn you're gonna to wanna to cross the Kamasa River at that crossing to the south and then follow the waypoints to Flatneck Station where you'll use Bard's Crossing, but then you got to go all the way up to the Awanjila Dam to cross the Montana River and then backtrack towards Blackwater. So that is going to be the hard part. Anyway, we're off. We are leaving Van Horn in a hurry, and you can see the Waypoint Trail on the minimap. I don't exactly know how the game paints that trail, but I think it has to do something with the shortest or fastest it perceives but sometimes that'll send you in directions you don't want to go you want to be very specific I will only highlight to the nearest waypoint I put on the map and you can put waypoints on the map using uh, your left thumbstick you click that and it'll put a waypoint so be very specific in your increments on your journey that way you can wind up crossing at the right places like this crossing this is Bard's Crossing at Flatneck Station you'll notice that my beautiful rose gray Arabian is having a hard time. Horses go slower over bridges, but this is railroad tracks, but this is the only railroad bridge you need to worry about. Something that I think you really need to worry about coming into Tall Pines is the switchbacks. The switchbacks are going to cut hard back and forth, and you're going to feel like it's really slowing you down, but I highly encourage you to stick to the trail because if you come off the horse, I believe that's it. I think the game won't register it as a trip from Van Horn to Blackwater. It'll register from the time that you got back on your horse to Blackwater, and I don't think it'll give it to you. That being said, points of interest also will slow you down. I saw the blind guy here outside of Blackwater, and that tripped me up for a little bit, but we're already on the home stretch. We're about to cross the finish line and get that Horseman number 9 challenge any second now. And there it is. That's a... Horseman number nine. I wish you the best of luck. It Take your time. It only took me maybe 15 minutes to run the whole tr path, so don't worry about running out of time. Stick to the trails. Don't come off the horse. I don't think you need to worry about it raining. 
Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.